everyone welcome to codis camp we are at second day of july lead code challenge and the problem we are going to cover in this video is find k closest elements so the input given here is a sorted integer array and two integer variables k and x so we have to return a sorted list of integers where uh, we have to return k closest integers to x in the array so let's understand this with an example so here is a sorted array from this array we have to return four integers that are closest to three so three here is x so in this integer the numbers are one two three four five the closest is defined as the difference between the two numbers must be less so here the closest to three is three itself because three minus three is zero so the closest distance between three and three is zero so three is definitely going to be added to our result set so what are the other three numbers that can be added so now let's take the numbers 2 and 4 the difference between 2 and 3 so 3 here is x 2 and 3 and 4 and 3 are going to be same the difference is going to be 1 so we can add both the numbers to our list so 2 and going to be added so we have space for only one number left in the result set because we have to return k that is four numbers as a result so we are left with one and five so now the difference between one and three and five and three are going to be two they both are same but which one to pick for a result so there comes the role of the conditions given in the problem statement there is a condition says if the difference between a and x is equal to the difference between b and x then in that case we have to choose the number which is less than in both of them because if a is less than b then we have to choose the number which is a so here a is nothing but 1 and b is nothing but 5 though the differences are equal we have to choose the number which is lesser so by choosing the lesser value 1 enters our result set and this is going to be our result finally so how are we going to approach this so we can use a comparator in Java or any programming language to sort the elements based on the absolute difference between each element in the array with the x and sort the difference, sort the elements based on the difference and the first k elements is going to be the result. So that would be the brute force approach and that is going to take a big o n log n time to sort the elements and compare and save the differences would take uh, n log k time. So how do we approach this in an optimal way? So here the array is sorted that clearly gives us the clue for a binary search approach. So since the array is sorted, our k elements are going to be any subarray in the existing array that is it can be starting from the zeroth index till the next four elements or the last four elements or any elements in between the given array so using that logic we are going to use a binary search to find the left bound or the leftmost index of the or the starting of the resultant array so if we find starting of a result array from that the next k elements here the next four elements are going to be the part of our output so to start searching our left index we are going to fix our upper limit and lower limit as usual we do in our any binary search problem so here as the index is going to be the search point that can be starting from the zeroth index of the array and the maximum left pointer or the left index is going to be the length of the given array minus k because we at least need a subarray of size k. So in that case, if our left is going to be away from k elements from the last, then it would be the possibly last four elements in the given array. So the maximum index that can possibly be for the left pointer would be n minus k. So by fixing these as the left and right bound of our binary search, we are going to apply some logic to find our left index. So how are we going to find that? So as usual, we are going to find the midpoint of our given array and check whether that point can be the leftmost index of our result list. And we are going to check whether it is the closest to x or its end is the closest to x. So before any explanation, let's get into the logic. Hope you are going to understand that while we are working on it. So here the left is going to be uh, zeroth index and our right is going to be 5 as that is the index that is going to be having 
k elements from the last. So now left is at index 0, right is at index 4. Possibly the mid is going to be index 2. So we are going to place our mid here and check whether this can be our leftmost index of our result subarray. So if this is the leftmost index, then what would be the rightmost index? We are going to return the next four elements to the mid as our result. So starting from the index 2, the next four element would be here. So this is going to be the end of that result. So now we are going to check which is the closest to x. So here the left is going to be 3. So 3 minus 3 is 0. This is obviously the closest. Still we are going to check the rest. So here 6 is the end of the uh, first result we found. So 6 minus 3 is going to be 3. So now which is the closest? Where we kept our mid is the closest. So in that case 6 cannot be included or after whatever 6 cannot be included in our result because if mid is the closest, then what are the elements remaining to the right? The next k elements to the right is going to be part of the output. So whatever is there after the right are not going to be part of the output at all. There are no chances. So the possibility is either where we kept our mid can be the leftmost index of our result subarray or something before mid could be the leftmost index of our result subarray. But there cannot be chances to have our starting index after this mid index. So what we are going to do is we are going to shift our right pointer towards mid so that we will find a new search space of our leftmost index. So now that we have found our leftmost index of our result is going to be somewhere before mid or at the mid. So we are going to shift our right pointer towards the mid we had previously. So now we found new left and right bound. So calculate the mid. So the mid is going to be pointing at the index 1 which is 2. Again we are going to find the uh, differences which is the closest to x. So if this is going to be the leftmost index then the next four elements are going to be part of our result. So the end is going to point at 5. Now the difference between 2 minus 3 is 1 and 5 minus 3 is 2. So obviously the leftmost index pointing at the value 2 can be the possible leftmost index of our result. Then whatever left after 5 cannot be part of our index because if this is the chance then the next four elements could be in the result and whatever left after 5 cannot be part of our result. So again we found our new right index we are shifting our right pointer to here. So now again finding our new mid the new mid is going to be 1. So now which is the closest either 1 or the next element to 1. So which is 4. So obviously we have left with only one element where our at next iteration our right pointer is going to point at here. So this is going to be the leftmost index of our result. So if this is the leftmost index, the next four elements or the next k elements to this is going to be part of our result. So 1, 2, 3 and 4 are going to be part of our result set. So hope you are understanding this binary search logic. Though it is a bit tricky, it is very easy to implement. And this is going to work in big O of log n minus k time complexity. As we are not going to iterate the complete array as our search space and it is going to reduce to n minus k as we are looking for only this as our left to right bound. So let's go to the code now. So here is the code for this problem where as I said we are going to set our left to 0 and right to array dot length minus k. So we are going to iterate till our left and right pointer meets and we are going to find our mid index. So every time we find the mid index, we are going to check whether the difference between x and array of mid and the difference between x and array of mid plus k is greater. If this is greater, then it's time to shift our right pointer to mid. If not, we are going to shift our left pointer to mid plus 1. So based on that, once all this is done, when till our left pointer meets right, we will find our leftmost index. So once we found the leftmost index, we know the solution is going to be from that index plus k elements. 
so as a result has to be in the form of list we are going to create a result list and iterate the given array from that index left to left plus k and add the numbers to our result set and finally return the result so yes let's run and try so let's submit yes the solution is accepted and runs in 3 milliseconds so thanks for watching the video hope you like this video if you like this video hit like subscribe and let me know in comments thank you